Welcome to the Benjamin Banneker High School Commencement Ceremony for the Class of 2020, where Dr. Jason Stamper serves as principal and Kimberly Dove serves as our Fulton County Schools board member. Dr. Mike Looney leads our school district as the superintendent. Today represents a culmination of a commitment to achievement, scholarship, and hard work among members of the Class of 2020. Our seniors have met the requirements to become graduates of our institution and begin to make their way in the world. At this time, please stand for the National Anthem. be seated. And now, Benjamin Banneker High School Teacher of the Year, Yolanda Goggins, will recognize our students who are entering the military. At this time, I would like to take this opportunity to honor a few outstanding members of the Class of 2020, who will be serving our community and moreover our country by entering one of the branches of the Armed Forces. And they are Amir Boswell, United States Marine Corps. Christopher Jones, United States Army. Niana Clark, United States Army. Christian Moreland, United States Air Force. And Brianna Bolger, United States Army. Remember, Banneker High School instilled the principles of pride in each of you, perseverance, respect, integrity, discipline, and excellence. And that alone will take you far in your journey. We, the Banneker family, salute you. Please welcome to the stage, Xavier Shankle to deliver the welcome and occasion. Greetings, friends, faculty, alumni, and to the distinguished class of 2020 here at Banneker High School. My name is Xavier Schenkel, and I have the distinct honor of serving as a senior class president this year. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 graduation ceremony. Seniors, while this year may not be ending according to plan, do not let the ending disrupt the vision that you have for the world and the change you want to make as you enter upon it. An unprecedented amount of people are enduring some of the most complex times in their lives right now, including me and probably even you. Our world is going through a complex problem that it seems even our most complex solutions cannot abate at ease. And it was when pondering this scenario, pondering this situation, that I came upon the message that I want to share with you today. And the principal question at hand is that what do we as a society do when we are out complex? What do we do when life gets too tough? What do we do when we are moved and ebbed by the world's perils? Well, if you ask me, someone qualified ostensibly by spending 12 years in the American education system, the way we handle life's complexities is by understanding its simplicities. And the most principled simplicity is what serves as the foundation for our education, our ABCs. That's right, the 26 letters that we learned at the beginning of school 
are the foundation of what we can use to navigate this world. The ABCs of life, some people call them, and they're different for every person in every individual scenario. But today, I want to share with you mine. Firstly, we have to A, appreciate complexity. If we don't understand the problems we're in, we won't know how to get out of them. We have to be believe in everything that we want to accomplish, because it is what you believe that you will ultimately receive. We have to see, have conviction in everything that we do. There have been times in my life where I felt like nothing at all was worth it, but I had conviction in success, and that's why I'm standing here in front of you today. We have to take the D and be dynamic in everything that we do. Dynamic thoughts drive dynamic solutions, and we live in a dynamic world. We have to take the E and be excellent. I've learned that if you just want a Range Rover, if you just want an apartment in Midtown Atlanta, you can be successful, but if you want to be something in this world, if you want to be impactful, you have to start with being excellent. Take the F and remove fear from your life because fear kills twice the amount of dreams as failure does because fear tells you not to even try in the first place. You have to take the G and express gratitude for every single person who has done something positive in your life. Take the H and be a humble human being. You shouldn't be looking down on anybody that you are not trying to pull up. And when you think of the letter I, I want you to illuminate every single room that you enter because first impressions last and we are lasting individuals. J, jump at every single opportunity that you have. One of my mentors tells me that true leaders, they don't wait for opportunities. They jump at them and they create them. K, keep kicking at the doors of knowledge. You know, the average CEO reads 50 books a year, 50 books. And I'm not telling you to run your life like you're the CEO of a $50 billion company, but I'm asking you to act like the CEO of your life and make a commitment to learning new things every single day. Turn your L's into lessons. Thank you, Chance the Rapper, for that one. And it may be very tempting to think that that M stands for money, but in fact, it stands for monumental movements. We don't remember Martin Luther King for the money he made in the world. We remember him for the monumental things he did in our society, the long-lasting things. Be monumental, not monetary, ladies and gentlemen. Take the P and be proactive. You question everything in your life so that you understand what you're going through. When you think of the letter R, I want you to reach for the stars as far as you can. But when you get to the stars, don't relax, don't get comfortable, reach back and pull everyone else you know up to infinity and beyond. Seek significance, not just success, be an impactful human being. Be tenacious in everything that you do. Understand first, then speak, and if you understand what I just said, then you can speak. Value all of your victories, because as we can see today, nothing in life is really guaranteed. Do everything wholeheartedly like a wise man would. Wholeheartedly. And then take the X and find your X factor and use it to change the world. And finally, take your Z and find your Zen and know when it's time to relax and develop your mind and body and your spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, today I hope you've seen that even in the 26 simplest letters, there are 26 life lessons that we can use to change the world. But were you really paying attention? Because if you were really paying attention, you notice that I left two letters out of my ABCs of life. The letter N and the letter O. That's because we don't let nuances and obstacles get in the way of our proliferation. We don't let the notion of no infiltrate our dreams. We cannot let the notion of no infiltrate the simplicities in life. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Xavier Schenkel, and I'm telling you that the way we avoid life's complexities, the way we navigate them is by understanding its simplicities. And simply put, I'm out. At this time, we will take a look at our graduates. Enjoy the reflections of the class of 2020.
Assistant Principal Jackie Holland will now introduce the Benjamin Banneker Class of 2020 Valedictorian. Good evening to the members of the Fulton County Board of Education, the faculty and staff of Benjamin Banneker High School, graduates, parents, and friends. It gives me great pleasure to present this prestigious award. This award represents honor, perseverance, endurance, motivation, discipline, and most of all, academic excellence. This award goes to the student who has earned the highest numeric average. Our valedictorian for the class of 2020, Ms. Maisha Mateen. Now, let's welcome the Benjamin Banneker High School Class of 2020 valedictorian, Maisha A. Mateen, as she delivers her commencement address. Good evening. This school year has been the hardest year of my life. I lost myself throughout the process, but I came out a stronger and wiser person. My senior year started off a little rough, due with my schedule and a less than stellar end at, to my last season as varsity captain and middle hitter on the volleyball team. The most difficult development began in September when I noticed changes in my body that were completely concerning and new. From September to November, I dealt with the worst pain of my life in my abdomen. I went to tons of doctor's appointments, took tons of tests in the hope of finding an answer to my pain. In November, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, an inflammatory bowel disease that leads to chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. It was heartbreaking to hear that I would be dealing with a chronic disease on top of having one kidney. I was born with a polycystic dysplastic kidney, which caused cysts to form in the place of my right kidney. At age five, my right kidney was removed and I've had one kidney ever since. If you have ever seen me carry around my infamous water bottle, my kidney is why I carry it every day. It was difficult to cope with the diagnosis. There were times where I couldn't even stand to brush my teeth. I remember the times in class where I often for the floor to ease the pain I felt, even though sometimes it was for leisure. I remember the pain I felt as I was double over on the floor, knowing I had to catch the school bus in a little over an hour. I, show me, I shed so many tears searching for a why and dealing with the new developments in my life. I felt like a burden because of the amounts of medical bills every time I got an infusion, which is $5,000 and every eight weeks. It was a 180 from how I lived my life months before. I am still working to balance the medicine and the pain, but my condition has gotten better. The fear of relapse or Crohn's limiting my life is a constant fear in my head. At the same time, I was applying to college and scholarships. I was nowhere near prepared for the process or for the rejections. I felt qualified for everything I applied to. I had tons of leadership experience, a one-on-one -on -one weighted GPA, a 31 on the ACT, and my work to improve the school community. It is disappointing, to say the least, reading, we deeply regret when I opened a scholarship portal or a college portal. It made me question my worth, my abilities, and everything I had done leading up to now. For most of the year, I felt like I had water up to my neck and I was barely staying afloat. I mentioned it a few times to my friends how I felt like there was one long, never-ending scream inside my head. It was the stress and the Crohn's and the statistics like having a single mother and being on child support and living on the South Side. I was drained and I wasn't myself no matter how fine I looked. It became harder to focus and I lost motivation. I let opportunities slip away because I was tired and I couldn't fathom fixing that essay or filling out that application. I realized that no one could make me better. Not my mother, Marcia, who had been my rock for 18 years, or my grandmother, Carol, who sold her house in New York to move down here to be with her grandchildren. Not the friends I cherish, especially from my favorite group chat. Not the teachers who educated me about life and the standardized content, especially Mr. Williams and Mr. Patterson. I couldn't blame the lack of support evident from people in my life who relinquished their roles and watched as others picked up their slack and made excuses for them. I had to make myself better, and I did. I share my story because it's easy to look at a person and judge them by, by what you see on the surface. To truly be unapologetically me, I have to acknowledge the bad with the good. To quote Henry David Thoreau, it is not worth the while to let our imperfections disturb us always. We cannot dwell on our flaws because they distract us from how amazing we actually are. We are not just the denials and the pain, 
we are stronger and more complex than we ever realized. I know none of us expected our lives to be like this on May 19, 2020, but I am proud to say we have made it. We fought all the adversities that threatened our greatness, and we won the battle. I am more than proud to be continuing my education at the amazing University of Georgia to study biology on the pre-medicine track. I plan on becoming a nephrologist, a doctor for the kidneys, and being an example for generations after me. My yearbook quote was, if you write your name in stone, you'll never get the white out. I hope each of you take that statement with you for the rest of your life and be unapologetically you. Excellent job, Maisha. Your dedication to excellence is evident in your words. Over the past four years, students have worked diligently to achieve new academic heights and prepare for a successful college and professional career. We will now recognize students for their achievements. The STAR Student Award is presented to the student who has achieved the highest SAT score as reported by College Board, has met the national average in each subject area, and is in the top 10% of the graduating class. This year we have two students who have met this criteria, both with an overall SAT score of 1270. Our star students for 2020 are Maisha Mateen, valedictorian, and DeShayla Dixon, salutatorian. Congratulations, ladies. It is my pleasure to present the honor graduates for the class of 2020. These students have achieved a cumulative numeric average of 88 or above. The following students will receive an award for their accomplishments. Maisha Mateen. DeShayla Dixon. Xavier Schenkel. George Simmons, Wendy Flores, Jabari Courtney, Parisian Ravenel, Jalen Hudson, Adriana Delaney, Charles Jones, Osiris Zalea, Ashari Gaston, Wad Eltigani, Magali Arciel, Marlon Santiago Ramirez, Anaya White, Charnetta Han, Katoria Stewart. Elijah Harper, Jeremiah Dotson, Ayana Kyler, Anaya Jones, Trayvon Jones, Jaquan Howard, John Friesbrook. Alori Brown, Jaden Douglas, Kayla Battle, Mamatu Tankara, Gemini Tafari, Ricky Fitton, Nestaria Todd, Deja. Freeman, Malcolm Jenkins, Antonio Stevens, Anissa Gathers, Danisa Bussey, Eugenia Koranke. Congratulations. The Faculty Cup Award is given to the senior who has achieved in all areas of student life. This award exemplifies academic commitment and sound character. I am proud to present the 2020 Faculty Cup Award 
to Mr. Jalen Hudson. The Atlanta Journal Cup Award is given each year to the most all-around senior. This senior has excelled in academics, leadership, and in service. This student has been a role model and an inspiration to the Banneker High School community. I am honored to present the 2020 Atlanta Journal Cup to Mr. Xavier Schenkel. I stand before you and I proudly present this next award, which is the Principal's Award. The Principal Award goes to the senior that has exemplified excellent citizenship. This year's Principal Award goes to none other than Sanaya Gooden. Congratulations, Sanaya. What an outstanding and high achieving class. Attention, Benjamin Banneker High School graduates. Listen up for a special message from a fellow alum. To all of my Banneker family, listen up, man. I know we're going through tough times right now, but guess what? You are built on the foundation of going through tough times. This is nothing new to us. We persevere through all tough times. We are the most resilient individuals in this world. We are survivors, natural born survivors. We know how to survive. So you need to look at this situation and you need to figure out exactly how you're going to become better moving forward. You're going to take this situation and you're going to realize that as you continue on in this world, nothing is promised. Tomorrow's not promised today, but we also have to plan for the future financially, spiritually, mentally. We have to continue to make ourselves even smarter than we are today. You got to educate yourself. We have to continue to make sure we take care of our families because obviously that's the priority and that's what's most important right now. You realize what the priorities are. And so these are the times where you look back 10 years from now and say, I made it through that and it made me a stronger person. So congratulations to the class of 2020. Look at this as a blessing in disguise because it's only gonna make you stronger. It's only gonna make you a better person. We persevere, we endure, we are strong people and continue to be blessed and take care of your families. Love. Yeah. At this time, we will now hear from board member Kimberly Dove for the conferring of the diplomas and to certify the Benjamin Banneker High School Class of 2020. As a member of the Fulton County Board of Education, I am pleased to certify that all students presented for their high school diploma have earned all rights and privileges associated with the Fulton County Schools Diploma in the state of Georgia. Parents, relatives, friends, and faculty, we are proud to present the graduating class of 2020. And now, the moment we have been waiting for. It is an honor and a pleasure to announce the graduates of the Benjamin Banneker High School Class of 2020. As your name is called, please stand to be honored for receiving your diploma. Maisha Amira Mateen. Deshayla Denisa Dixon. Xavier Walter Shankel. George Alexander Simmons. Jabari Marcellus Courtney. Wendy Flores. Parisian Chambrel Ravenel. Jalen Rashad Hudson. Adriana Michelle Delaney. Charles Edward Jones. Osiris Yamalet Zalea. Ashari Rikia Gaston. Wad Mohammed El Tagani. Magali Arceo. Anaya Precious White. 
Marlene Santiago Ramirez. Charnetta Quinte Hand. Katoria Lanice Stewart. Elijah Trevon Harper. Jeremiah Christopher Dotson. Ayana Nakaya Monique Collier. Trayvon Deontay Jones. Ania Yvonne Jones. Jaquan Quintavis Howard. Alori Simone Elizabeth Brown. Junia Lachey Adams. Jadion Adlam. Henry Alas Ortega. Zania Denise Albritton. Clinton Alexander. Anthony Deontay Allen. Gioni Amari Allen. Anijah Mignon Anthony. Gideon Kujo Jayeki Apaya. Jalen Armstrong Payne. Keith James Walker Atwell. Kasim Leon Baker Upshaw. Talia Denicia Banks. Tony Marie Barber. Teriana LaShawn Barnum. Aaliyah Nilana Bates. Kayla Ariana Battle. Deontay Sanchez Benton. Dominic Antoine Black. Rodrique Rashad Bolton. Umir Duan Boswell. Quintavious Briscoe Bowie. Tiago Demario Bowens. Dejan Malik Boyd. Kayla Destiny Bradley. Nishan Ramon Brickhouse. Jalil Keyshawn Brooks. Derek Jabari Brown. Javante Arshan Brown. Kayla Brown. Brianna Marie Bolger. Trinity Niala Burns. Tiana Janae Burton. Donicia Antrail Bussy. Autumn Alicia Callahan. Jamarcus Inez Calloway. Brandon Camacho Castro. Javion Viquan Campbell. Kareen Raquel Campbell. Harlem Asata Carwell. Tiara Charnay Childs. Deshaun Monquise Clark. Miana Sequoia Clark. Taja Paris Clay. Lakeisha Nicole Covert. Tamar Chanel Cooper. Imani Amir Crosby. Imani Unique 
Culbertson, Shanae Denae Curry, Makai Sean Custodio, Nathesia Makuba Daniels, Sean Jared Darasaw, Jalen Eva Davis, Kierion Antrice Davis, Khalil Davis, Kwamel Javon Dawson, Jasmine Peace Jagani, Jaden Leah Douglas, Erica Amari Drayton, Brianna Lanice Dunn, Ronielle Angelina Durden, Khalil Pasha Easley, Brianna Kanice Eberhardt, Jonia Brianna Eberhardt, Derek Epps, Melissa Espindola Guzman, Bakari Jalil Etini, Tiana Shanice Farmer, Ashley Monique Fisher, Ricky Ricardo Fitton, Romario Odari Forbes. Shania Rhodesia Foster, Micaiah Kashan Fowler, Deja Renee Freeman, John Robert Friswick, Jamie Alexandra Garcia, Anessa Renee Gathers. Talissa Chantel Golson, Naja Yvette Gilchrist, Jaden Glover, Evan David Golden, Sanaya Christaja Gooden, Shania Imani Kiddity Gooden. Joshua Demarion Grace, Desiree Rache Grant, Demar Rashad Gray, Marshall Curtis Tyler Gray, Zygesely Lamonte Odell Grayson, Capri. Michael Green, Cassidy Xavier Gresham, Audrey Grace, Sparkle Anika Griffin, Tiana Amari Griffin, Mosiah Amira Hagen. Charlie Hall, Mark Anthony Hall, Jasmine Rachelle Harper, Sanaya Khadija Harrigan, Sky Queen Harris, Markavis Deshaun Hayes. Sean Anthony Hazel, Amari Shamira Higgs, Mykesiana Latrice Hightower, Delvin Jarrell Hill, Rayshawn Parte Hinton, 
Deja Amari Holmes. Brianna Sharon Horn. Sin Latrice Micaiah Howard. Octavius Tyreek Howard. Trenicia Denise Howard. Omar Lee Hudson. Brandon James Huggins. Michelle Brianna Nicole Hughes. Aaliyah Kiana Hunter. Jared Gaddafi Hunter. Layla LaShawn Hunter. Jose Alfredo Isidore Ramirez. Ashanti Del Rio Jackson. Nijoy Essence Jeanette Jackson. Colina Chiquita Jameson. Janila Ariel Jenkins. Malcolm Allen Jenkins. Brianna Latrice Johnson. Sierra Donye Johnson. Lashini Latanya Johnson. Micaiah Sierra Johnson. Shatiria Quine Johnson. Takira Kamaya Johnson. Christopher Kiwan Jones. Kiana Marie Jones. Zanea Simone Jones. Richard Donnell Jordan. Ricky Renito Kelly. Ahmad Arnell Kelson. Kendrell Lamar King. Twanicia Ziaria Kinsey. Eugenia Nana Amakiwa Karanki. Benjamin Charisma Corley. Ibrahim Kuate. Ariel Brunel Lane. Avante Deshaun Lewis. Vakila Beyonce Lewis. Shantricia Lamaria Logan. Jacoba Laredo Nunez. Christian Dion Lowe. Christy Mian Lowe. Michaela Patricia Maddox. Deshaun Lloyd Mango. Jalen Devon Martin. Kayla Patrice Martin. Talija Shania Mason. Lawrence Asaya Takori Matthews. Lettering Murrell McDowell. Amari Nicole McKellar. Javaris Taiwan McPherson. Elijah C. Mendez. Carleon Jaquise. Mary Brayrana Lindaja Milton Gregory Lewis Montford the second Deja Alexis Moody Christian Amias Moreland Jesus Antonio 
Moreland, and Deja Simone Murray, Tariq Chantre Newell, Irvante Malay Nichols, Fatou Najee, Shanice Renee Nolan, Emil Brene Odom, Imarion Michan Owens, Mariana Lashanti Owens, Rodney Luis Owens, Tania Pacheco, Gary Page, Imari Unique Parker, Taylor Erica Parker, Jalon Marcus Patterson, Brianna Rose Paul, Naya Ashanti Payton, Zakiria Rashida Peak. Naasia Monet Perry, Jankies Pierre, Adiria Renee Ray, Dacia Tajay Reeves, Uriah Renee, Jaquela Tonyette Rhines. Corinne Raquel Robinson, Genesis Sky Robinson, Cameron Tyson Ross, Kisten Ross, Tatiana Junanetta Rucker, Yasmin Ruiz. Darian Demarcus Saab, Orelua Sakrat Rahman, Shania Shade Sanders, Christiani Michelle Sellers, Kiwan Dimitri Simmons, Jeremiah Singleton. Isaiah Jacquees Sinkfield, Trevon Jacquez Slayton, Chamia Ayana Smith, Jordan Keon Smith, Chandler Brooks Spears, Brian Shamar Stanford. Princess Daisha Lavette Stanley, Antonio Curell Stevens, DeAndre Deshaun Stevens, Seviana Jure Strokes, Miracle Shania Strozier, Michaela Antoinette Sullivan. Gemini Blessing Tafari, Desiree Linnell Taylor, Ethan Lamar Taylor, Gabrielle Moni Thomas, Nastaria Nari Todd, Jamelia Hassoni Toy. Willie Lee Trimble. Mamadou Tonkara. Zari Michelle Turner. Janiah Lashende Walker. 
Lanaya Lashende Walker. Craig Eugene Walls. Rashawn Naquan Jermaine Walton. Tatiana Kayla Wanamaker. Jackson Navarre Ward. Joel Richard Ward. Ziari Yasin Ward. Lataja Janice Ware. Naya Shakina Watson. Chantel Lakeisha Webb. Justin Deshaun Webster. Kedrick Rodney White. Vernay LaShawn White. Anthony Markel Williams. Dewan Quintavious Williams. Paul Nicholas Williams. Shabias Jabbar Williams. Netiana Shanice Williamson. Malaysia Sanai Woods. Tatiana Lakeisha Woods. Reginald Worthy. Kilana Jeronese Wilts. Javante Arshan Brown. Deshaun Emmanuel Miller. Congratulations to the Benjamin Banneker class of 2020. We will now have the turning of the tassels by Mr. Benjamin Banneker High School, Paul Williams. Good evening, my name is Paul Williams and I'm the class of 2020 Mr. Benjamin Banneker High School. At this time, I will ask all graduates to please stand for the official turning of the tassel. This time has, has officially arrived for our seniors. This is just the beginning of our academic pathway to success. Even though we are not gathering like, like the traditional ceremony, we are still going down as the best class to walk the halls of Banneker High School. On my behalf and the one and only prominent class of 2020 seniors of ben Benjamin Banneker High School, we would all like to thank Dr. Stamper, Dr. Bradley, and B-Town faculty members for going above and beyond to make our senior year a, a remembrance of joy and a job well done. In order to signify our transition into official Banneker High School alumni and the journey that lies ahead of us, please join me in turning the tassel from the right side to the left side. Please welcome to the stage, Area Superintendent, Dr. Jima Whitaker. On behalf of President Bernard, Vice President Bryant, and of course, Superintendent Dr. Looney, I say, well done. Well done, although you may feel extreme loss. We cannot replace those rites of passage moments you've lost, such as the senior prom, senior trip, or senior prank day, or even skip day. But I tell you, what you have found is much, much more than you realize. What you have found, no one can take from you. You found family, the family you've been sheltered in place with, You've created memories that no one can take from you. You've found friends, the friends that you've had Instagram parties with and, and don't rush challenges, and those that you've connected with socially, but yet still being distant. Finally, you found resilience. Resilience is that process of adapting well in the face of adversity. The resilience you found 
allowed you to turn on remote learning, get those final credits so that you could walk across this stage. It is that resilience you will take to college, military, and the workforce. It is that resilience, the class of 2020, you found. So in conclusion, 2020 is best known for perfect vision. Well, Banneker class of 2020, I found your results. See, you've taken the test, passed, and guess what? You have a bright and beautiful future ahead of you. So once again, well done. And now we will have a special message from Fulton County School Superintendent, Dr. Mike Looney. As the superintendent of Fulton County Schools, I hereby certify that all members present for the class of 2020 have fulfilled the requirements established by the Fulton County Board of Education and are therefore eligible to receive their diploma and certificates. Please welcome Benjamin Banneker Principal, Dr. Jason Stamper, for closing remarks. First of all, I want to say congratulations to all of our graduating seniors. Congratulations not only for enduring all these years to get your diploma, but congratulations for enduring in such a time as this. We know it's been a pretty tough year towards the latter part of the year, but you've endured and you fought through, and I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Now I want to talk to you about something that I say each morning. Each morning, if you had me in middle school, all the way through high school, and when I got here, each morning I say, one bad or good choice can change the very course of your life. I challenge you today to make good choices, and then I end by saying, make it your best day ever. But let's unpack that thing about choices, because now that you've reached this point of your life, I want you to continue to make good choices. So what is a choice? A choice is the decision that you have to make when faced with multiple options. It could be one option, it could be two options, but you have to make a conscious decision to make a good choice. Years ago, I did a book study um, looking at a book called The Other West Moore. The Other West Moore was about two guys. They were both named West Moore. One became a, a, a decorated veteran, a road scholar, and he was being honored. And the day he was being honored, he picked up the newspaper and he read West Moore convicted to so many years in prison. And he thought about, you know, that's the same name I have. And they were both from Baltimore, Maryland. And they had some of the very uh, similar um, things that they faced in their childhood, you know, being absent of the father in the childhood or in their household or just various things going on in their household. One made a choice to go one way, the other made a choice to go another way. And years later, you get the situation where this book is written because one made a choice, that bad choice that we talk about, or made that good choice. And so what they did was uh, they befriended one another and Westmore visited the other Westmore in prison. And they decided to write this book about their lives and the choices they had and the choices that they made. So what I wanna to talk to you about and what I'm talking to you about is making that decision to make that good choice um, I challenge you not only to make that good choice, but when faced with good and evil, choose good. When faced with being mean or kind, choose kindness. When faced with being medi mediocre or excellent, choose excellence. You're an excellent class. You've endured more than most people could ever imagine this school year. You've endured throughout your whole life, and I want you to continue to challenge yourselves and make good choices. I want to finish by talking about briefly about a letter I wrote to you all in the yearbook and in summary that letter just talks about when I first came through the doors of Banneker High School this year I saw some old faces um, students that I've seen mature throughout the years I was very proud of but I saw some new faces that welcomed me in and I don't take that for granted thank you for being such a, a welcoming class you're awesome you're magnificent I want you to continue to choose magnificence I want you to continue to 
focus and hone in on that, that Trojan pride that made you what you are today, that pride that, that comes from just being the very best at what you do. Class of 2020, it has been my honor to serve as your principal. And once again, I say congratulations. Congratulations to the Benjamin Banneker class of 2020. What an impressive achievement. Now go forth and take on the world.